Hi there, welcome to Chappers Photography Channel. Today I've got another unboxing. It's a external USB or Thunderbolt port drive to use with my Mac. So I recently bought a MacBook Pro. It's the older version, which still has an SD card slot, um, but it does only have 128 gig of internal memory. And I was surprised at how quickly I got through that. Um, I've also upgraded my home PC, or Mac, to the new 2017 iMac, which you've, well, you may have already watched the unboxing of that, if you, uh, if you haven't, take a look on the channel. So I wanted something to transfer my work between the two and to possibly just work from an external fast drive. So I bought this, um, two terabytes, solid state, Thunderbolt port, um, it states on the back of the pack that Thunderbolt is 10 gigabits per second composed to USB 3 which is only 5 so uh, if that's the case this is pretty much as fast as you can get um, running side by side on your desktop with no external power source required so I don't think it's going to be a very exciting unboxing but I thought we'll unbox it have a look plug it in, and then run some tests with the Thunderbolt connection and the USB 3 connection, and compare it just to moving a file around on the hard drive locally. So that way uh, we get an idea of the performance um, and its versatility. So, let's have a look in the box. Okay, so this isn't an Apple product, um, but it is a sort of one of their sort of partnered brands. You can buy this in the App Store. You can also buy it on Amazon, you can also buy it wherever, but uh, this does seem to be a product that they uh, they recommend. And whether they partner with them, which is why they've got this Thunderbolt port um, connectivity, um, I suggest that's a good business acumen. So let's have a look inside it. It's not lightweight, not as light as I thought it would be. Um, it's got the designer's name, Neil Poulton, on the top. And also on the uh, spare connector, connector. Right, here you see the, uh, the built-in Thunderbolt port and then inside if you wanted to use it with a, uh, a PC you've got a USB 3 connector there. So that's quite nice the way that is built in. Um, it's got some pretty good claims for its uh, ruggedness Tell you on the back of the packet in just one second. So it suggests that you can drop it from two meters. Okay, so this just says what I've just said there. If you're using a Mac, you use the inbuilt Thunderbolt port, and if you're using a PC or you've used your Mac ports, Thunderbolt ports, you can actually use USB. So it's USB 3, it is USB 2 backwards compatible also. Hiding under there is the USB 3 cable, some warranty information, and some Thunderbolt information for Windows users. Okay, so I thought we'd do three tests. Initially, I will just copy a file across on the uh, desktop to see how fast an internal solid state drive can move six or seven gigs worth of data, and we'll move that to a fast 150 meg speed SD card as a bit of a benchmark then we'll plug this in via Thunderbolt port and do the same move and then we'll plug it in by USB and then do the same move again and that should give us four figures and we'll have a nice little comparison there to see how fast this drive works um, there may be some value to move it back the other way so one's reading one's writing um, and then we'll wrap it up then. The only other thing which may be of interest, if you have a new MacBook Pro, you won't have a Thunderbolt port like this. There will be USB-C Thunderbolt ports, just like I have on the new iMac. So you will have to treat yourself at Apple's expense, a considerable expense, £50 or £49, to a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C to Thunderbolt 2 connector. 
So you can see there that that goes from the old style uh, Thunderbolt port like this to the new style USB-C. And if you have the new Mac Pro, you'll know that that's the only connectivity you have and you have to buy adapters for every different type of peripheral you want to add. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get on to testing it with some data and uh, we'll just see how fast this thing really is. Okay, so for those that are interested in the technical specs of the machine, this is a MacBook Pro, it's got a 2.7 gig Intel Core i5, it's got 6 gig of DDR3 memory and it's uh, running uh, 128 gig of solid state memory. Okay, so let's see how long it takes to copy the balloons folder. Let's just check how big that is. Okay, so that's 6.89 gigabytes. That should be big enough for a test, but not so big it gets a bit boring. So let's just paste that onto the desktop. Okay, so the move on a solid state drive took just over 15 seconds. Let's get rid of this before we uh, start running out of space. So let me just jot that down. Now let's write it to a fast SD card. This is quick, I use this for 4K filming. Okay, so that's notice that we slower, getting an initial estimate of about two minutes. So uh, I'll fast forward this, and I'll join you when the uh, when the copy's complete. Okay, so significantly longer there, with one minute and one minute thirty three seconds. Plug the new drive in. Okay, so that's interesting. I was told in the shop that it was a solid state drive, but from the way that is humming and what I've just heard, that sounds very much like it is a conventional conventional drive in there. In fact, I can feel it humming and spinning. So, oh, not very good Apple stuff, unless I'm mistaken. It doesn't state whether it is a solid state or a normal drive. It certainly gives no spin speed or anything else like that. Anyway, it's still got the claimed throughput. Now, whether the disk can uh, push the data at the speed that the uh, Thunderbolt port can handle, I don't know. But anyway, let, let's uh, let's give it a go. Let's reset that. Let's hit this here and paste item. Okay, that's interesting, isn't it? So, what have we got happening here? That looks pro. Looks like there is a setup process to go through. Okay, so this is interesting. So we can decide if we're going to use the uh, device with Mac and PC, um, how we want to uh, spread it. So, drag the side completely to the left if you intend to use it only with Mac computers. To create a volume to exchange data between Mac computers and other operating systems, drag the slider slightly to the right, and then drag the slider completely to the right if you want to exchange data between different operating systems. So we, so that's now formatting that hard drive in the manner that I decided. I don't want it to be part of Time Machine. Okay, so thank you very much there for uh, indulging me setting up and registering this device. That's the problem with doing an unboxing if you want to do a test straight away, you've got to uh, see it. But then again, I think that's good because at least you understand and can see what we're doing. So hopefully, this time, now we had a paste. Okay, so the guess looks to be somewhere in between the two. With 133 for the SD card, 15 seconds for the internal move. This is saying less than a minute. Okay, so that did come in almost exactly halfway. 51.73. And I 
think let's do the uh, let's do the copy back straight away before we change okay so that was within a second riding back the other way as I, I guess you'd expect slightly faster okay so let's get rid of that to trash and empty trash okay reset that now let's connect this up via USB okay so that's quite interesting the USB-C appears to be sorry USB 3 appears to be the same speed as the uh, other belt port. I'm wondering whether it is the disk that is the uh, limiting factor here. So let's rename the Ubuntu date. Copy that back. Now let's uh, make sure it's not cached. Almost exactly the same again as the Thunderbolt port. Um, I think what I'm going to do, <laughs> because I was misinformed at the shop, I was expecting this to be a solid state drive so that I could actually work from it for video editing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to eject this now we're finished with it. So I've now plugged in this, which is a solid state drive, which I have been using for video editing and editing directly off of here and it's been working absolutely fine but I wonder how much faster this is than the uh, lacy drive yeah significantly quicker and the, and the only test left to do is now to bring that file back okay so I guess for what this is it's good and it's fast unfortunately it wasn't what I wanted um, Apple do offer an open box 16 day money back guarantee and uh, I think I might just be taking them up on it because what I really want is something I can work on directly so anyway <laughs> that is the unboxing and the testing let's wrap up okay so to wrap up um, disappointment really um, probably unfair to say in the uh, item itself um, but more in the way it was uh, missold or misexplained to me at the Apple store so as I say I thought it was fantastic price to get a, a two terabyte um, solid state drive um, especially from Apple for that price um, which was £199 I suppose that should have really set the uh, set the questions going but I asked the guy I said is this solid state yes it is so there we go I think what I'll do I'll, I'll should try and edit it edit with it uh, both on the MacBook Pro uh, and on the iMac um, and if it isn't possible, um, I shall exercise my right to uh, to take it back and uh, get a refund. I hope you found this helpful. I guess one, it's going to stop you buying that, thinking it's a solid state drive. Um, you'll also have an idea of how it compares to um, the various different scenarios. Um, yeah, the only one I haven't done, which I will do, and I'll cut it back into the video, is the uh, copy back from the SD card. Um, just for, for comparison, I won't do it now because I'm wrapping up, but I will do that um, and bring that back into the, uh, or if it's not that exciting, I'll just include the figures for, for the copy back. So um, thanks for checking in. Uh, if you're still here, thanks for staying with me. A um, little bit of an annoyance for me, but uh, I'd like to share this and, and so other people don't buy their products with the same thought in mind that I had. So uh, thank you for watching.
All the best. Bye-bye.